Hey guys, Ricky here. Welcome back to the John Deere Garage. Today's video, we're um, going to be taking a look at my 73 John Deere 110. Um, I have it torn apart right now because I am currently working on it. So, this tractor hasn't run in about uh, five or six years. So, I'm trying to change that so I can use it and it's not just taking up garage space. Um, so... In the last video you saw of it, I think I deleted the video actually. It was not getting spark. But, check this out. It is now getting spark. Um, I fixed that by pulling the points cover off, which is located down here on the front of the engine. It's right here. Um, the points were brand new in it, they are just corroded, so I took some sandpaper and just scuffed off the corrosion. And now it's got a good healthy spark. So I've actually got something to do today, so I'm going to see if I can get the old girl running later. I gotta throw some new oil in it, because I drained it all out to change it. And I haven't had a chance to put new oil in it, so I should not be running this engine without oil in it, because it'll definitely go kablooey. And I gotta hook the fuel system back up and see if we can get her to run on her own. Wake this old Kohler up. This is a Kohler K181S. Um, yeah, so this tractor hasn't run in about five, six years. And I'm gonna see if I can get running today. Um, it'll be later though. So as I just told you, I have something to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it back together. Um, like put the muffler back on and stuff and obviously the hood which is right there um and then we'll just go from there i guess i am gonna have to get a new muffler though very soon because it's pretty chewed up right there and it's oh, where is it it's cracked right there and on the top there this muffler is old. It has been patched like a billion times. See, there's one there. It's been patched up here. It's been patched down here. Definitely need a new seat. This is the original. It is not even connected to the seat pan anymore. And I have to adjust the throttle cables. Something's wrong with it when you push it down. And it springs back up. Alright guys, once I get this tractor running, I will do a review on it, um, and maybe, well, I can't really do any more mowing videos, the grass is just about done growing, so, maybe I'll do a video of her, like, pulling a little wagon around doing some work and stuff like that. This is probably gonna be my, um, um, tractor to pull stuff with because it is a pain in the ass to mow with a gear-driven tractor. Because you got to keep shifting into reverse and stuff. Um, I think it's just easier with the hydrostatic, like the 318, which that is going to be running very shortly. So, we'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to the channel. We currently have 12 subscribers, and I'd like to get a few more.